Johnny, the US presidential elections. They're coming soon. Should we all be panicking? Ah! Why? Why would we be doing that, Johnny? Because it seems, Johnny, both candidates have got dementia. <laughs> well, that's what they're saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 they've been going on about Joe for years. Well, that's what the bloody word on the street is. It's been the Republicans' best bloody weapon. It's, well... Apart from Trump, uh, the best bloody weapon is to say that poor old Joe is losing his bloody marbles. R jobs are growing. We created 800,000 manufacturing jobs. Remember they told us we were dead, manufacturers dead in America, China's going to eat our lunch? Well, guess what, man? We don't taste that good. There is some movement, and I don't want to... I don't want to... I mean, choose my words. There's some movement. There's been a response from the, uh, the, the. There's been a response from the opposition. Holy shit! Have a listen to that. Yeah, and there's been plenty of instances of him bloody losing the thread of what he's bloody ever. Uh, yeah. Well, you, uh, yeah, and we've been losing the thread of what he's talking about. Uh, but Johnny, surely you've got to have a president of the United States uh, dementia free, don't you? Do you know they destroyed all of the information, all of the evidence, everything? Deleted and destroyed all of it. All of it. Hello and welcome to exhibit number 427,912 of Donald Trump's Brain in a Blender live on stage. Here, the guy claiming that his opponent is the one experiencing cognitive decline is suggesting that Nikki Haley, his own former United Nations ambassador, was in charge of security at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. Jesus, how do we combat this bloke? Uh, he keeps saying that uh, Joe's bloody losing his marbles and he's right. I know what we'll do. We'll put it out there that the Trumpster, that the Trumpster is also bloody suffering from dementia. It's a bloody great political strategy. During a recent interview with Salon.com's Chauncey De Vega, psychologist Dr. John Gartner said that Donald Trump appears to be showing gross signs of dementia, possibly early signs of Alzheimer's. What's your campaign strategy for dealing with American Samoa? I'm going to continue to do nothing about climate change until American Samoa is completely submerged. Let's <laughs> rock! So let me get this straight. Uh, the, uh, the Republicans have been getting into Joe for, for multiple foot for years that he's slowly losing his bloody marbles. And to combat that... The Fight. They're just fighting back by saying, Trump, the Trumpster, he's losing his marbles too. Is that the strategy? Everyone, I'm Gabe Sanchez, and welcome back to What Was That? Donald Trump's cognitive skills continue to fall apart before our very eyes, and now the self-proclaimed stable genius is pushing a wild story that his confused mental state is all on purpose. Stuff in a second. Okay. But let's start, though, with... I'll make a chart. ...the fact that Donald Trump is not well we know this but this this guy he's he's looking so old he's shuffling around and he really does think that barack obama is still president of the united states then the old trumpster comes out and he fucking waffles on and he goes on about this and that and if he makes one bloody blunder says the wrong word or gets a word mixed up or whatever they jump on it and say look at him he's got dementia Holy shit! Worse than Joe. That are you mentally fit? Is basically what she said. How do you respond to that? Well, I did a cognitive test recently, and I aced it. And when I uh, refer, like for instance, oftentimes I'll say purposely about Obama, and I interchange it with Biden because I believe Obama has a lot to do with what's happening and destroying our country. Now the thing is, Johnny, both these blokes are old, and you've got to ask yourself what system, what political system would let these two blokes. These two old blokes be the only candidates for president of the United States. Yeah, right, yeah. Well, yeah, out of all the 330 million or whoever knows how many are in the US, out of all those people 
These two blokes are the only two candidates you can come up with. President Biden, can you hear me, President Biden? This is a historical moment for Brazil and for the U.S. President Biden, can you hear me? I, you can? Yes, good. And I think it should be a prerequisite, Johnny. I think it should be a prerequisite that any president of the United States uh, should not have dementia. Well, you'd think that would be the barest bloody requirement, Johnny. I mean, that's a given, isn't it? But Johnny, what about all the bloody wars and stuff? Are we going to have these bloody... Are we going to have either one of these two blokes? There's a lot of responsibility there. God knows what sort of bloody stuff they could get up to. 